Hey 12 Rounders, Corey here, uh, owner founder of Studio X Fizz. Over the next couple of days, I'm going to be there hanging out at, at 12 Round and I'm going to be running you through uh, the in body scanner. Now, if you haven't heard of the in body scanner, it's like the Ferrari of body scales. So, gone of the days where you stand on normal scales and all you get is your overall weight, the question becomes well, what of that weight is what? So what the Embody Scanner does is it breaks everything down for you. So not only do you get your overall weight, you get a bunch of other cool things that you're able to set clear goals around and you're actually able to analyze, get statistics, and then set benchmarks of where you wanna be at any point in your life moving forward. So I just wanna go through uh, some of the results that you'll be getting from the Embody Scanner uh, after you get a scan at 12 round coming up. So first thing you get like I talked about was your overall weight and from that weight what is your lean body mass so your lean body mass is your things like your muscle your organs and your bones and that will give you a weight here so we're using the examples of a female and her weight's 57.2 kgs her lean body mass is 47.1 kgs and all we have left is body fat mass so of this person's body, how much is fat? And we're left with 10.1 kilograms. Cool thing about that is that we can actually set clear goals around either fat loss, fat gain, or muscle loss or muscle gain. Obviously the important thing there being on what it shows you based on your height and weight. So this one here, based on body composition, you could benefit from it. This person could benefit from an increase of 4.2 kgs of body fat and an increase of 0.7 kgs of muscle mass. Next thing it shows you here is this person's basal metabolic rate, which is 1,388 calories. So your basal metabolic rate is the amount of calories your body burns per day at rest. So the cool thing about muscle, and the more muscle that you have, the more calories that your body will burn because your muscles burn calories. So the more muscle you have, the more you can eat and take in without it turning into fat. So the more muscle you got, the higher the mes metabolic rate, the more you can consume without turning into fat. The lower it is, uh, the less you're able to consume without the risk of turning it into fat. Next thing we're looking at here is body water balance. So we're looking at intracellular water, the water inside the cells, extracellular water, water surrounding the cell, and then your total body water, 30%. 4.6 kgs a lot of us is made up of water but this is all about hydration how hydrated are we um, on a daily basis so we can see here the hydration levels between 0 0.36 0 0.39 we're sitting good at 0 0.83 383 so next thing we want to talk about is obesity analysis what we used to measure is BMI no longer really that relevant what we want to focus on here and what we can get from this machine is body percent body fat percent body fat here 17.6 and a healthy normal range for this person body type is 18 to 28 so body percent body fat's a really good indication um, to go from it's really cool to set goals around losing body fat or gaining body fat percentage last thing we get out of this machine and the best biggest thing that we can we can see here is we actually break the body down into uh, sections and analyze how much muscle you have and where and the cool thing about being a 12 round go consecutively enough you start building that quality muscle and it will show up in the segmented lean analysis so what we look for here is everything being nice and similar so right arm left arm trunk right knee left leg and we can see this person has 2.4 kgs of muscle in the right 2.39 kgs of muscle on the left and we look at a hundred percent of the total muscle is with the healthy range so you can see this person's 15.2 percent over 14.4 percent over the normal healthy range of muscle mass looking at the trunk we've got 20.9 kgs of muscle 10.2 percent over right leg 7.33 kilos left leg 7.35 kilos you can see there's a good healthy 10 percent over we want to be look for a nice even uh, range over the whole body if we start to seeing any discrepancies as a physio clinic here we can often see if there's any injuries or if there's anything um, been happening in the past leading up to the scan you can obviously see 
um, misalignments between things like left leg and right leg or right leg, right arm and uh, left arm. So it's a really great tool to be able to see statistically what's happening inside your body because we usually look on a pair of scales and guess what's going on in the inside with the in-body scanner the Ferrari of body scales, you have an opportunity to see what's going on and set some clear goals for yourself if it's wanting to gain weight, lose weight, gain fat, gain muscle, whatever your objective is, we can set clear goals for you moving forward. I hope that helps and look forward to seeing you Thursday, Friday.